attacking the choke offensively can also prevent them from escaping. So even if I don't have the choke and I'm coming here, what I can do as he defends this is I can take my other hand and use that space he's created to push this arm off to get my second arm in to get the choke. Okay? When we are uh, hand fighting, something that our opponent can do is they can push us onto our shoulders. Yes, thank you, Ron. So when we're here, our opponent has the advantage in that they can, if they want, choose which side we go to. My feet are up, their feet are down. However, if they want to stay here, we actually can choose the side. So again, I'll look for that inside grip, if I can, two on one. And then I can use my hooks to decide what side I go to. As I turn my opponent, yeah, come back up. As I turn my opponent to a side, I'm going to at the same time drive my choking hand through. So I'm going to use a little bit of their falling to tighten in a choke right away if I can. Okay. From here, when we choke, make sure you go knuckle to knuckle across. I think of it as two snakes and slide into the choke. This will be a tighter choke than if I do this to choke. It will also be harder to take off. If I put my hand here, my opponent can actually reach up and pull off this hand. Okay. And, then, and then work for the choking hand. Okay. Pause.